Hey everyone, Scar Preds for Pre-Online. Thanks for coming back. Uh, cheers, guys. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at um, my Selenocosmia. Um, I love these things. They're up there with my favourite genus. Definitely my favourite terrestrial genus. Uh, fossorial especially. And um, I've got at the moment two. So I've got the Crassipes or the Crassipes. Whatever you want to say it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Cynocosmia crassipes, and I've got the uh, Cynocosmia species Sabah, so the undescribed Cynocosmia from um, Sabah region. Um, I've also got a second one coming um, from uh, Scarlet the Black Widow as well, so cheers Scarlet for uh, letting me buy that one off you. Um, there's not very many around, um, so if you've got one, um, we need to kind of keep track as well um, on males and things like that. So. Um, Scarlet thinks hers is male, uh, I'm happy with that. I think mine is female and um, I'm going to actually be keeping the male back a bit. So keeping him at a lower temperature, feeding him a little bit less, keeping the, the female then at a higher temperature, feeding her a little bit more, see if I can get them to, um, to be able to uh, basically, I want her to mature first and then him to mature afterwards. Uh, so cool. Uh, let's have a quick look. Hopefully as well. Hopefully the sound is a lot better. Um, I told you guys I broke all my microphones. All these little lapel knot. Uh, I had this one and I had a cheap and I broke them both. This one I've had. There's another one on the way as well. So it's a cheap one. So it might not be great, but it should be better than just the GoPro on its own. Cool. So let's get these buggers down to start with. So I've got them in. Um, they're basically shoe boxes, isn't they? Oh shit, this heavy, heavier than I thought. Okie dokie. Really what I want, right? I want to find molts in here. That would be amazing. Yes. Quickly, so this one is uh, what I call a crassipes. Well, many people call them crassipes. Any molts in here, guys? No one. This is the Cynocosmia species Saba. Um, I'm going to change the cameras now for you guys. Ooh. It's right here. <laughs> Watch your fingers with these guys. They are uh, flighty, bitey little bastards. This one needs this water topped up as well. What we'll just pop. Keeping my eye on it all the time because they are quick. Okie dokie, let's have a look at this one first because obviously it is out and about. Okay, so this is um, Selena Cosmia Crassipes, as I say. See if we can get a good. Uh, it is um, really a brown spider with uh, red seti on the abdomen and on the uh, on the hind legs. It looks as well like it's got darker or even almost really dark purple femurs. And uh, see if I can put a torch on that so you can see. Can you see that? See where the femurs are. It's most definitely. Oh, I would. This surely this needs a molt. Um, so I want to see this spider after it's molted. It should be uh, should be a real striking spider with red red seti and either purple or black femurs. Absolutely stunning spider. Let's see if we can get you some uh, some better pictures, some better shots with uh, with a different camera.
Now this one is the um, Selena Cosmia Sabah. Of course, it's not playing ball at the moment. I even popped a roach in there just to tempt it out. Now you can see it there. There's a butt there. And uh, it actually looks in pre molt. It's got a darker uh, abdomen than I've saw it with before. But you can just about see there the copper on the hind legs as well. So the likelihood, uh, I've got to be honest, the likelihood of these being the same species are quite high. But what it is, is I like to keep um, things, if I know the location of where they've come, you know, where they are, like this one, Sabah, then I'll keep any sab, oh, when we get one coming out, no, I'll keep them all the same then, you see, and I'll try and keep them all together. I don't mean communally, I mean uh, obviously labelled the same. Now, I think you've actually eat, has it eaten, let's have a look. Yes, it has eaten. So it's taken that roast, so it's not in pre molt like I thought. Sorry guys, I'm jiggling the camera all around. I'm just looking at a hole at the moment. But, what I'll do is if I can catch it out in kind of the next half hour, I'll uh, I'll film it, and obviously if I can't, then you'll know because I've just popped some photos of it on now. So thanks guys, uh, thanks for joining me again. Um, we're gonna have a, a better look, and I'll do a, a kind of species description like I've done with Postlotheria before. Um, explain the subtle differences between each and every one. I'm going to be grabbing a lot more Selenocosmia over the next few months, especially at the BTS, because I've got my eye on um, a lot. Um, and I'm going to be breeding them this year for definite. So uh, thanks again for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep coming back to the channel. Remember um, to support the channel even further. Um, there's a Patreon. Thanks to my patrons that are already there. Cheers, guys. Um, Obviously, um, I'll be going live. Uh, it might already have happened by the time that I release this video, but I am going live on Saturday night today. Um, also next week as well. Remember, next week, so uh, the 1st of March, or the 2nd of March, which is Friday or Saturday, I will more than likely be pulling Tiny's egg sacs. So stay tuned for a video probably Monday. Monday is the 4th of March, I'm looking for. Uh, so that's my kind of deadline I want to do. Um, cheers guys, stay safe, ta-da.